Hey guys, thanks for joining me. My name is Stoof, and today we're going to make a painting of a sunflower together. If you purchase the materials that I listed below in the description section, you're now ready to get started. So let's get your 12 inch by 16 inch canvas ready, have your paint set out, and the first thing we're going to do is draw the circle for the inner part of the sunflower. Now that circle is going to be painted with some water mixed with your brown paint to make it a nice loose layer of paint. We do not want a thick coating of paint yet. Once you've outlined where your sunflower is going to go, we'll go back in with some more detail. Once I outlined where my sunflower is going to be, I started outlining where the rest of the features in the background are going to be, such as the stems and the leaves. So sometimes when I make a painting, I know exactly what I want the finished result to look like before I even start. And sometimes when I make a painting, it's more of a learn as you go and develop your technique and try to figure out exactly what style you're going for midway through the painting. And that's kind of what, what type of painting this one was. I originally wanted it to be a little bit more impressionistic and uh, have lots of visible brush strokes. And then I later on went back in and ended up going over some of these uh, bold color transitions between the, the brush strokes and uh, tried to make it flow a little bit more. And uh, it still turned out a little bit impressionistic with the bright colors, but uh, it definitely had a, a little bit more of a touch of realism to it, in my opinion. So here I'm just uh, getting started. I wasn't quite sure where I wanted to go with this piece yet, so I just put some patches of blue in there, and then I went back with some other colors and blended them together. Now it's okay if you painted over where your petals are supposed to be while you were working on the background. That's actually the easier thing to do, is to just paint that background, cover over your petals, rather than trying to fit in between each petal where your background sky is going to go. Uh, it's going to make your sky look much more even and actually look like a background than trying to fit in between each of those petals. We can go right back over as soon as that blue paint dries with our nice bright yellow flower petals. So what I'm doing here is painting the leaves of the sunflowers, just picking some nice various shades of green, uh, mixing different amounts of yellow, blue, brown together to get some darker shades of green where the leaves are in shadow, and using more yellow and some white mixed with my blue to get the leaves in the sunlight. Now I'm starting to add my nice bright orange yellow color right around the rim of the inner part of the sunflower where all the seeds are going to be. To mix the color for the inner part of the sunflower, I blended my cool red with my black and my brown. Once I filled in all the color for the center of the sunflower without leaving any white spaces, I went back in and blurred that contact between the center of the sunflower and the petals of the sunflower. And then I cleaned off my brush, I dipped my brush in the orange yellow paint, and I started working on my petals. Now I had 
multiple layers of paint for my flower petals on the sunflower, but for the first coating of paint, what I did was use my large flat brush and I made brush strokes back and forth with a thicker base and getting thinner as the brush stroke moved farther away from that center part of the sunflower. Next, I put my second coat of paint on the flower petals. I mixed some brown with my orange yellow to make the darker tones, and by using this darker color, I was able to separate the petals that are closest to us in the front and the petals that are a little bit farther behind, uh, where you can't quite see the entire petal, but you can just see the top of it behind that uh, front row of petals. Here I'm painting over my second coat for the center part of our sunflower. I just used black paint for this one to really contrast against the petals of the sunflower with light and dark tones. And once I got all of that black filled in in the center, I mixed some white with my black to make a gray color and just did tiny little dabs uh, trying to portray the seeds that are in the inside of our sunflower. Now it's time to brighten up those leaves by mixing yellow, white, and green. You can get various highlight shades for your leaves. That's what I'm painting here. I'm going all over the canvas wherever my leaves are and I'm adding a highlight wherever those leaves are getting sunlight. Once I threw the highlights on my leaves, I wanted to boost the contrast between light and dark on the leaves, so I went back into the canvas with some blue, some brown, some black, and some green to make my shadow tones for the leaves. I placed these in random spots, but most of these spots uh, were areas that were actually in shadow and the sun was not hitting these locations. I went for a little bit of a mosaic style at this point in the painting and uh, was putting these shadows in little tiny pieces in random places on the canvas and I go back a little bit later and blend things in a little bit more. At this point in the painting I liked where it was going with that mosaic style so I blended some colors and worked on the sky some more, uh, trying to make the sky look a little bit more mosaic by throwing pieces with hard borders uh, with a specific color and blocking out specific areas of the sky. And I do go back and change this as well. I incorporated a couple different styles into this painting because I was figuring it out as I made the painting. 
but I think that's what made it so nice at the end. I kind of liked how a couple of these little styles stayed and some of them went. <laughs> At this point, I was brightening my leaves even farther than they were before, and I started bringing my leaves back towards the realism style of painting and took away some of those mosaic shadows that I had in the background. my third coating of orange yellow paint on my flower petals and this layer of paint was used again to be able to tell the difference between each petal and I also used it to extend the length of these petals I wanted them to be a little bit longer and using my brush stroke going from the outer portion of the petal and into the center of the flower using more of that orange yellow color on the outer edges of the petal and less in the inner portion of the petal, I was able to make those petals uh, look a little bit more realistic. I then used some red mixed with orange yellow and brown and threw on my fourth coating of paint on my flower petals. I did this on select petals that were a little bit more in shadow At this point I decided that that mosaic sky just wasn't working out for me. I used a warm blue mixed with white and made the sky brighter and mixed some of my cool blue into the outer edges to try to bring the viewer's attention to the center of the painting. Okay guys, I promise this is the last layer of paint I'm going to put on these flower petals. Here I'm using a light yellow acrylic paint and just throwing my final touches to the petals, putting some highlights on with that yellow paint. Believe it or not, with all of these coats of paint and changing my mind on what style I wanted to go with for this final painting, this only took me 45 minutes to make. Watching my video guys, I hope you enjoyed my painting process. And if you made this painting on your own, I hope you enjoyed making it. I'm sure it's beautiful. If you guys are interested in purchasing prints of this painting, I have them available on fineartamerica.com. If you search for artist name Steph Maraca, you'll see all of my paintings, including this one, where you can get throw pillows, tote bags, phone cases, canvas prints, steel prints, wooden prints, all kinds of different stuff uh, shipped right to your house. You can purchase them right on fineartamerica.com.